Good morning. Today is Saturday the 26th of November and we decided to come on a circular walk from Ben Acre onto the beach, uh, taken in Ben Acre Nature Reserve, back up to Cove Hyde and then back to where we've parked the car. Um, there's no no car park so we've just parked in an open gateway on the street at Ben Acre and the pathway that we're starting on is the Suffolk coastal path that takes us down onto the beach. Um, today is it's a quite a fresh day but it's nice and bright and uh, already can hear lots of birds in the woodlands around us. Um, yeah, so hopefully it'll be a pleasant walk and we'll have a look to see, to see what we see. All right. Sounds like the tide's in. Is there any beach left? We followed the beach path down to the beach but the tide is in so we can't walk along the beach so we're now coming up through a field of sugar beet and I think that will still take us along the same route um, obviously along the, the top of the cliffs and not, not along the beach.
so we've just finished our circular walk from Ben Acre onto the beach uh, through, well I say through, it's more like round the outskirts of Ben Acre Nature Reserve. Some parts of that reserve you have to get permission to actually access, um, but you can see the, there's like a, a, a vast expanse of water that you can see from, from the beach uh, with um, birds, waders, so that's quite nice to just sit and, and look at those. Um, so yes, yeah, so the we parked in a little gateway, open gateway, and then the path then takes you directly onto the beach, and I think this this is called the, the Suffolk Coastal Path, um, which is behind me, it takes you straight onto the beach. When we actually got to the beach, the tide was in, so we couldn't do part of the walk along the beach, but that that's fine because it there it just takes you through across the the fields along the cliff edge, and with the nature reserve on to your right side, uh, and then you get to uh, as you come down off the nature reserve, you can then rejoin back on to the beach, and I like this particular beach area because it, it's got like a, a sort of Jurassic feel to it where all the, the trees have obviously fallen from the erosion of the cliff edge uh, and, and it's just it's something different about this coastal stretch than a Norfolk coastline. Um, a lot of interesting things to certainly photograph and uh, look at. Um, so from the beach you then make your way up to Cove Hyde um, and there's a, a lovely church there, St Andrew's Church. Uh, part of it is all in ruins and it's lovely to have a walk around there and have a look at the, the particular um, areas in that part of the ruin. And I think you can actually go into the main part of the church as well, which is still a useful church. And then from there, we then took a, um, a turn onto the road. So as a part of the, the walk is actually on the road, it then takes you onto a byway, uh, along through fields, through obviously farmer's land, and then back onto the road. But the road's pleasant roads to walk on, very quiet. Not you can see that they're not used frequently. Um, so yeah, and then got back to to the car, had our soup and snacks, and yeah, so it is a lovely walk. I would highly recommend it. It's about it's just over six miles, and it took us roughly a couple of hours or so. Um, once we got onto the beach, there's plenty of things that you can take photos of and have a look so you can spend a good two two to three hours um, but yeah especially if you go around look around the church ruins as well so yeah uh, it's been a lovely day uh, sunny fairly fairly miles um, but yeah so I would highly recommend mend the walk all right if you want to have a look at any of my other videos please do I uh, hope you enjoy watching this one and I will see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.